Welcome into Carpooler with Ben. Folks, one of the most amazing organizations I love chatting with is Special Olympics Rhode Island. Dennis, the Jesus of SORI, joins me today. Dennis, it's great to see you. How are you, sir? Doing great, Ben. How about yourself? Hey, baby, we're, we're rocking and rolling, heading right into the fall. And, you know, you had a summer of modified things that you were doing with your athletes uh, because people it's important to realize that the special Olympics isn't just a one week or two week or a one weekend thing. Your organization are running events year round. I mean, just nonstop. Yeah. You know, that's, that's one of the biggest myths we have to, uh, we have to address all the time, at least once a month, someone will say to me, I know what you do. You do those summer games down at URI and I have to interject that. We do year-round sports, 20 sports from January through December. Like you said, it's nonstop. Uh, our athletes are very busy. They want to be busy. They want to be on the athletic fields. So, yeah, we, we, we keep moving and keep going. So there's a lot going on at Special Olympics as we enter the fall and winter seasons. And it's not just the games. It's the training leading up to it, not just on a physical performance level or a skills kind of level. There's also all sorts of training that you provide and, and wonderful programs that you run, which give that self-esteem, that give that, you know, confidence to these athletes, yeah. regardless of their age or ability level. Uh, just and the numbers always just blow my mind at how many people, uh, excuse me, how many of your athletes come out and, you know, do well and proficient with jobs and exceed in school and everything. It's truly remarkable. You know, about 25 years ago, there was a tagline. It was training for life. And, and I think that mo says it all about Special Olympics. On the athletic field, like you said, we're building confidence. We're building self-esteem. We're giving them the tools they need to be successful within their community. So there's a lot going on. I think athletics is the vehicle, uh, but the vehicle is to get them into a position, like you said, where they can find a job, find employment, and be a contributing member of their community. That's what they want, and that's what they hope for. Now, that's incredible. I was just uh, this past weekend, I was with retired police chief Bill Zeal, and he showed me a video of uh, the recent uh, convoy, the truck, uh, the truck rally. Uh, for Special Olympics, of course, he's been part of the whole uh, the 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 super plunge. You know, you guys do that whole you know the jumping into the ocean stuff. We know we got that coming up, but uh, that's that's something that was huge that got delayed. What's coming up for Special Olympics Rhode Island? What's on the calendar? What's going forward here? Well, you know, the, the COVID situation prevents us from doing a lot of things that we want to do. Uh, the fall was always the time of year where we did our big gala. We'd have 300, 400 people come down to Rhodes for our gala. Can't do it. Yeah. Uh, just cannot do it this year uh, as we didn't do it last year. So we, had a, we have to come up with an event um, that really allows people individually to do some type of fundraising to support our organization. And the big event is called Celebrate the Movement. And on the week of October 16th to the 24th, we're encouraging people to walk, to run, to bicycle, all during that week at their, at their pace, uh, at a location that they are comfortable with, and then asking family and friends to donate to support Special Olympics Rhode Island. Last year, we did it for the first time. We raised over $170,000 in a one week period. Wow. So that's the goal this year. The goal is 150. And if we can make that, we'll have a, a very, very successful year. Celebrate the movement, October 16th to the 24th. And then on the 24th, which is a Sunday, we're all gonna meet at Garden City Shopping Center to do uh, a wrap up event. We hand out all of our incentives uh, and then really thank everyone for their participation. Um, but again, we can't meet at one location like Goddard Park or Colt State Park, like you would normally do a walkathon. So from the 16th to the 24th, anyone who wants to participate can come up with a goal and during that week, uh, work toward achieving that goal. But again, it's a key fundraiser to keep our programs alive and going. That's awesome. Uh, I mean, look, you have to adapt. You have to make the changes where you can to keep everybody safe and keep things moving. Um, you know, that's, that's something unique and 
special to, to each individual organization having to figure out the way to do it. Uh, although I do know that a lot of successes come from these individual uh, kind of individual events that bring everybody together virtually and stuff. It's pretty cool. I think my wife participated in some 40 mile race in New Zealand, but she did it here in Rhode Island and, right. you know, but she did it the whole virtual thing to help raise funds for a, a charity uh, group that she was part of there. Uh, but it, it's, it, it really is something special when you can get people active and involved. So is there an app? Is there somewhere people need to go to download, to, to get involved? Or what's the best way for people to, to get into this, to celebrate the movement? I would give them two opportunities. I would tell them to go to our website, first and foremost, www.specialolympicsri.org, or call the office, you know, 401 Three four nine four nine zero zero. Ask for Tracy or ask for anybody really on staff, and they can take you through the whole process. Signing up and getting an online page is very simple, very easy to do, and we can give you directions on how to do that. Uh, but we welcome anybody, everybody, and, you know. And if you're not up to walking or you're not up to participating, maybe you're up to donating, uh, and that would be a great. <laughs> what a what a concept, then what a concept. Uh, Donate. Yeah, that's a pretty good that's a pretty good word for today. Um, and and you, you know that you're going to go support you'll be supporting 4000 athletes in our program. You're supporting the great work that we do. I say this over and over again. No athlete pays to participate. There's no registration fee. So it's incumbent upon us to have successful fundraisers throughout the year to support our athletes and all the work that they do. You do great work and you get great support from the community as well. You always have. And, uh, and it's important to remember, folks, that these events that they do are year round. This isn't just a summertime thing. This is uh, this is training for life. And I think you really got to get the the marketing team back to uh, to back yeah. to that that phrase there, that yeah. training for life, training because for that life. is something uh that's Something what we do. True words never spoken as the as they once said. But <laughs> sir, it was great to chat with you folks. If you want to learn more about Celebrate the Movement coming up, please go online, give their office a call, talk to one of their people. And, you know, if, if you're curious about what they do, really just go look at their Facebook page. Go look at the smiles. Go look at the sense of accomplishment and achievement and just look at what you're doing, the impact you're having on on the special olympics rhode island community because folks it means a lot then it was great to chat with you i'll let you get going on your day and, and as soon as we're done with all this covid nonsense this 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 whole thing you and i are finally gonna get back in the car we'll go get lunch absolutely we'll get lunch it'll be great it'll be wonderful it'll be a whole afternoon <laughs> ex extravaganza <laughs> thanks ben